As a large format graphics printer, you rely on having the right tools to move, amaze and delight your customers with innovative creations. To be faster, to be different, to be more competitive and more flexible, to tell unique stories. At Canon Large Format Graphics, we believe in the power of a visual world. We share a passion for printing. We are dedicated to making you stand out. With over a century of experience, a world leader in professional imaging, with a global network of expertise for visual communication and industrial printing, together with our partners, we develop new print technologies and products to inspire you even further. Together, we're shaping tomorrow, supported by your feedback Experts working with experts, accelerating innovation. Hello everyone, welcome to this online launch of our newest UV Gel Roll to Roll family member. I'm Rob Reddy, Senior Vice President for our large format group at Canon Solutions America, and I want to thank you for attending this exciting event. I am thrilled to be here kicking off this event in the Customer Experience Center outside Chicago, Illinois. For the next 30 minutes, we are proud to show you a fantastic new product that will allow you to expand your business in the large format graphics roll-to-roll -roll printing market. This product has all the productivity benefits known in the Colorado family, but packaged in a way to be accessible to more customers. I can imagine that you will have a lot of questions during the program. At the end of the session, we will host a Q&A ready to answer any question that you might have. Please use the chat box to submit your questions during the event and we will do our utmost to answer them here right away. Stay with us for the next 30 minutes and witness the world premiere of our newest Colorado family member and how it can benefit you. Enjoy the event. With our latest Colorado UV gel printer, we are going to give you a tool for the future. But before we look ahead, let's take a look at the past. Years ago, Canon started working on a strategy to bring more value to the large format graphic arts market. We didn't want to come with a copycat solution, so we knew we had to invent something radically different. We introduced a completely new ink technology, UV gel. With unprecedented productivity and automation, segment-leading image quality and excellent application versatility, the UV gel technology offers the speed and productivity of a high-end industrial machine, a technology that combines the benefits of eco-solvent, latex, and traditional UV in a single machine. In 2017, we introduced the first 64-inch roll-to-roll real production printer, the Colorado 1640. We observed that there was a gap in the market when it came to printer hardware. The Colorado 1640 was the world's first real production printer in the 64-inch segment, known for its four pillars. Breakthrough productivity, unattended printing, low operational costs, wide application range. In 2019, we released the Colorado 1650, we added more features to the machine, made our ink more stretchable for a bigger application range, and introduced the unique flex finish curing technology, enabling two, a matte and a gloss finish without changing ink or media. In 2020, we introduced the UV gel wallpaper factory, a unique solution for mass customized automated wallpaper production. To date, more and more printing companies, sales and media manufacturers, and the partner channel have adopted UV gel technology as their first choice for their roll-to-roll -roll offering, and print volumes are skyrocketing. We see that professional printers around the globe embrace the UV gel advantage to produce highly durable, odorless, and instantly dry prints of consistent high quality with a wide color gamut at breakthrough speeds. This Colorado printer platform has proven to be a safety net for graphic businesses around the world, and professionals are considering it to be the technology of the future. And now, we are going to take the power of UV gel to the masses. 
We want to make it easy for everyone to start their day with the UV Gel Advantage. Are you ready to expand your horizons and be part of the worldwide product premiere of the next UV Gel family member? Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wallowens, International Business Developer for the Colorado series of Roll to Roll Printers. I'm standing here in Canon Production Printing in the Netherlands, the headquarters, and I'm honored to show you today our newest family member. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, can I present to you the Colorado 1630? What a unique unveiling and what a great way to have a first look at the Colorado 1630 printer. It's our newest member of the UV Gel Colorado series and it means it has all the proven characteristics and values of that Colorado series in it. We made it with a little difference. We built it up in a modular way. More about that later. This is the youngest member of the Colorado family and I dub it, it's our baby. Um, but that doesn't mean um, it doesn't have all the characteristics in it like a true UV gel printer. As a matter of fact, it does. It holds all the unique features of our patented UV gel technology that are so beloved by the high volume print houses and the graphic arts professional. Just now, we made it available to a wider and bigger audience. I just call it our new baby but that doesn't mean it's a toy. On the contrary, it weighs a healthy 700 kilos or 1,500 pounds, and it's printing at a max speed of more than 110 square meters an hour. And right now it's printing at a high quality speed of about 30 square meters an hour. So that's really high productivity, really fast. Let's take a closer look. Now let's have a closer look at the machine and let's do a walk around tour. So this is our new Colorado 1630, a 64 inch production printer. And if you're familiar with the 1650, you might recognize a lot. You might actually recognize the frame. And indeed, you're right, it's exactly the same. This is the 700 kilo or 1500 pounds steel chassis. This is heavy metal. It's industrial print, it's production printer. The color of the paneling is a bit different because it's a new printer but actually it's a true UV gel Colorado printer with all the benefits. You see the two beams, unique for the UV gel concept. And you see a very large user-friendly touch panel interface. It's a lot of productivity on a compact footprint. Let's go around the back where I show you some more details. Okay, so now we're at the back of the machine because this is Colorado 1630, Colorado DNA. Eh? This is how it works with the UV gel printers. You load the roll of fresh material in the back, then you print it, it comes out the front, and when it comes out, it's, it's basically ready, instant dry, ready to be finished. Um, with the Colorados, we've got a unique loading system. We actually put it into a drawer. If I open it up, you see actually that the 1630, there is place for one roll and optional also a second roll. So the way this standard works is after this one roll, you put the media on there, you um, guide it in, it automatically spools it up. When you close it, it spools it up over the print platen and it can start printing. Optionally with the 1630, and this is the modularity that I was talking about earlier, you also have a second bay, a place to put a second roll. 
If you choose to activate that second role and it's an option, whether you like it, you can do it. If you don't like it, then you don't do it. Then if you then close the um, drawer, actually the two roles online are online and you can actually um, start printing from the first role on the self-adhesive, if I remember correctly, printing it. There's a cutter in there, you can cut it, spool it back into the drawer and then spool up the second role. That second role is an option. If you want it, it's great. If you don't want it, well, then you don't pay for it, basically. So this is how the Colorado 1630 is set up with a media handling system. So completely automated, and when talking about automation, there's actually a lot more to tell. Automation. Automation is in the heart of every Colorado we make, and the Colorado 1630 is no different from that. So standard. By default, it comes packed with automated automation features. Um, just to name a few, the automatic media tracking and the very ingenious nozzle detection system. All of these secure a bandingless print at high speeds. But that's not all. Also, the maintenance is completely automated. So your operator doesn't have to babysit this one. So if you're familiar with the Colorado 1650, a lot of what I just said might sound very familiar to you. And you're right, the two share a lot of similarities. So now let's concentrate what sets the two apart, what makes the Colorado 1630 so unique. Well, the Colorado 1630 we position below the Colorado 1650. A bit slower in speed, but also very friendly priced for such an industrial high volume and high capacity machine. And with the Colorado 1630, we're bringing the UV gel advantage to the masses. Let's now talk for a moment about the ink, because the Colorado 1630, our new baby, has of course UV gel running through its veins. If you take a closer look at the bottles, you will see it's actually UV gel 460 ink that's in there. That's the same ink that you find in the Colorado 1650. And that's the ink that is beloved by the market, accepted and that is able to handle a wide and unique application scope. One thing you might notice is actually the bottle size. And indeed, with the Colorado 1630, we're making the UV gel ink, the 460 ink, available in 700 milliliter bottles. Why is that? Well, basically with the Colorado 1630, we're bringing the UV gel technology to the wider market, making it available for more companies to buy into. Companies that might today not have the volume of a 1650 yet and together with the concept of modularity choosing your options that you need and might opt for later on we're actually enabling you to expand your horizon and to scale up your business okay now let's talk about this concept of modularity because this is unique with the colorado 1630 we designed it from the ground up in a modular fashion um, what does that mean well, you can start with the base model, which is already feature-rich, packed with functionalities. And then you can actually, at the time of purchase or maybe later, you can add modules, you can add functionalities on top of that. And one of those functionalities is, for example, the flex finish option. It's our unique curing technology, which allows you to, with the same ink, that UV gel 460 ink, allows you to print uh, a vibrant, high gloss, poppy way of uh, uh, printing, of finishing. But at the same time, with that flex finish, you can also do a, a very velvety smooth matte look. So that's an option. Second thing is actually the second roll. Remember when I was behind the machine, when I opened the drawer, that second bay, that second roll, that's available as an option. Um, some might like it, some might say, I do not need it. That's the second one. And the third one is the double-sided functionality. We actually have a very precise double-sided registration system. So that one, together with printing on the inside of the roll, that's also an option. And depending what you choose now, at the time of purchase, or maybe later as your business evolve, this is something that you can add on top of it. And it's important to mention that these options and these modules, they're actually field upgradable. So you can choose them and they're field upgradable. And actually what's more, it's remote upgradable. So you don't actually need a service visit. 
So that makes it very easy and you can adapt as you go. So that way you don't have ever have to say no to a customer or a job again. That was it for the short demo tour around the machine. Now I want to talk to you about applications because in the end that's what everybody's interested in. What can you do with the machine? And I have a lot to show you, but we have limited time. Um, so it's going to be like a race around the room. We prepare some applications and I'm actually going to take out my vest. I've been looking forward to this um, and let's follow me. Okay, and now I want to talk to you about applications. Applications is the name of the game. Basically, that's what makes our industry tick. I have limited time and I want to show you as much as possible. So let's go. Okay, first thing I want to show you here is a, a banner. Basically, this is an indoor banner, lockout material, printed on the Colorado 1630 in a beautiful gloss finish. High color gamma, poppy colors, ideal for visual communication. Right, that's it. Now let's go to the next one here. Same um, application, but then for the outside. This is outdoor banner, different material. And this one is actually printed double-sided. And it's finished as a pole banner. As you can see up there, our inks. Easy to be stitched through. You can easily weld them. No problem with that. Different type of banner here. This is a pop-up banner for pop-up advertising, printed on a polyethylene film. This one has a matte finish to it. And indeed, you see here the cassette, typical way of finishing. Okay, now I find myself on a floor graphic. Everybody knows this application and everybody does this with UV gel because you don't need to laminate. Basically, our ink is very robust. I could do a song and dance here, but for everybody's sake, I'm going to skip that. UV gel, very robust, no lamination. Okay, let's go to the shelf. Typical retail application. What do you see here? Labels. Um, this is actually a new way of doing labels on a self-adhesive paper. It's uh, eco in two ways. It's eco-friendly, it's a paper-based application, and this is where the market is going to. And it's also very economical. Another way of doing labels is on a metallic film. Very special effect. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Hot stuff. Okay, what do we have wobbling here? It's literally a shelf wobbler. Printed on a plastic, fairly rigid type of rolled plastic. Typical supermarket application. Also, we're talking about new applications here. Packaging. Packaging is hot. Everybody's ordering stuff from the internet and getting it delivered into a box. A couple of ways to decorate a box. A label, of course. Self-adhesive paper that you put as a label onto it. But we also have here, this is like a really professional looking box. And this is printed on a Colorado. And how is it finished? Actually through lito lamination. So the professional way of doing packaging. And our Colorado inks, 1630 inks, perfect, no cracking, conformable. Short-term application, remember that, uh, short-term application, packaging, remember that. Okay, then we go to here. What do we have on the back of this chair? Decals. Everybody knows that. You can print on monomeric, polymeric, decals. Everybody knows that application. Okay, little restaurant scene. And I see a menu, a menu printed on a synthetic paper. Very robust, waterproof. Can scratch it. And oh, this is something interesting. This is actually printed on Tyvek, special type of soft Tyvek. And all of a sudden, then we have a crumpled map. Yes, indeed, we can crumple it. And the ink doesn't come off. It's waterproof. This lasts for ages. Only possible with UV gel. It's unique that way. Okay, let's have a look at the tablecloth. This is a soft paper, soft wrap paper they call it, and it's actually a very cheap commodity paper and all of a sudden when you print on it, it becomes a high margin uh, application. Unique, you can really upgrade the commodity material that way. You can make lots of money with personalizing your tablecloth. Okay, what do we have in the background? Wall decor, very popular application, went through the roof uh, last year and the growth is foreseen to continue uh, exploding. Everybody wants to decorate their, their bar, their restaurant, their hotel room, uh, but also for uh, personal spaces, interior. A couple of properties are very important. Okay, the colors need to stand out. 
um, the alignment of all the panels needs to match perfectly and you're very welcome when you can actually see a hamburger, you, see, you can see a ketchup bottle and then you can just spray it on there. And before you're thinking, oh no, he ruined the application, he ruined the decor. No, that's the power of UV gel and the Colorado 1630. Our ink is actually very scratchable, washable. You can take it off, you can sponge it off, you can scrub it with a brush. It stays intact. What do we have here? An overhead science. This is how the industry got uh, started, basically with signage. Uh, this is still how the signs are done. You print on a roll material and then you glue it onto a sign. This one is cardboard, typical for a supermarket, an overhead sign, but also to, to be used uh, outdoor on Fomex or Forex material. Let's go over here. We have backlits and I actually want to show you two ways of doing backlits. This is the more traditional way. This is printing on a, on a film and then there's light behind it. Um, traditional way. On the bottom here, we have actually a more modern way. This is actually not printed on a film, but printed on a textile. It's a very specific type of textile. It's a Samba, what they call soft signage or silicon edge graphics. So which is very stretchable textile. Our ink is also very stretchable textile. We stretch it around the frame. And what's good about UV gel, the 1630 inks, is actually the high contrast. So we have very high color. And also, where you, don't, you do not want to have color, where you want the absence of light, our ink is actually blocking the light very much. Unique. Okay, then we go over here to this wall, or uh, at least a fake wall. This is a very conformable foil that you can actually heat and that you can actually push it into these seams. And then you can actually push it into a brick wall. These are quite modern application. Now I'm gonna show you an old fashioned one. Usually still done with analog equipment. It's blueback paper. These are the uh, traditional billboards. Uh, I've actually soaked it in water and glue. And then with a little help. Uh, don't, don't watch the alignment. You can actually stick it on there. Still very high volumes of this application being printed. This is blueback paper. And when we talk about paper, we talk about posters. And with the Colorado 1630 and UV gel, there's lots of possibilities. Posters are a commodity, but with UV gel, they come out great. You can print uncoated paper, machine coated paper, and the colors pop out. They don't look washed out. Very good. When we talk about colors and getting more arty effect, okay, we talk about canvas. Everybody knows canvas. You see they're stretched on a flame. What's important, colors pop out. You can stretch the ink around the frame, it doesn't crack. Very robust, you don't have to handle it with these uh, gallery white uh, textile gloves. I'll leave it for there just a moment. Okay, let's go to here and we come across my skateboard. Why do I show you my skateboard? Basically to explain vehicle graphics. I could not drive a bus in here in the indoor application, but basically this is what vehicle uh, graphics is uh, about. Our customers are doing that because the ink is very conformable, lends itself well to it. Okay, so we can uh, cover fleets of trains, metros, buses, and they all have windows, so we need to think about windows as well. How do we decorate transparencies? Well, this is one example. It's a transparent film printed with uh, UV gel, but there are lots of ways of doing that. You can also print on micro perforated, perfectly possible, or also even window film, cling film. Here we are, and what do we have here? Cheap wrapping paper. This is brown craft paper. Basically, this is almost the cheapest paper you can buy, but if you personalize it, all of a sudden you have a high margin application. Cheapest paper in the world almost, if you personalize it, and print it on high speed with the Colorado 1630, all of a sudden you have a very profitable, bu uh, uh, profitable business. I'm running out of breath. Um, so this is the personalized paper and you can actually finish it off with a label. Okay, we were talking about floor graphics, we were talking about printing on transparent material, and actually if you combine the two, we have a new application, and a customer thought us this. This is what he called floor tattoo. Our ink is so robust that you don't need to over laminate it. So you can actually print on the laminate itself. The laminate is transparent, stick it on the floor, on the concrete in this case, and all of a sudden you have a new application, floor tattoo. Uh, I'm running out of breath. And there's one last thing I want to show you. 
printing actually on magnet. So this is magnetic film and we finished it in two ways, high gloss, high pop. And this is the matte, smooth matte version. It's the same material, eh? we just uh, uh, did it with flex finish. Um, so this is magnetic material and basically you can stick it in a thing, ferrous or metal. Can you, make it, uh, you can make your own fridge magnet out of it. Um, so that was uh, a lot of application in a very limited time frame. I'm running out of breath. I feel like I deserve the price <laughs> and I got a price. And what's this? It's another Colorado application, basically here a t-shirt. We didn't print on the t-shirt itself. We printed on the transfer paper and that we then transferred onto the t-shirt. Stretchable, our ink, and also very washable. So that was it. I'm running out of breath. A lot of application. If I had half an hour, I could show you a hundred more, but um, um, don't hear it from me, hear it from our customers. So that's what I suggest we do. We go now to our customers and let them do the talking and let's uh, take a look inside their shop. My name is Marcel Albers, eigenaar van Design Makers. 14 jaar geleden ben ik voor mezelf begonnen en de ja, hoofdtaken die we nu doen is uh, interieur, signing, um, autoblettering, geverreclame en waar we om bekend staan is uh, vakmanschap en uh, kwaliteit. Nou, ik ben uh, Mathieu Mertens, ik, uh, ik werk binnen Sync uh, als uh, productieleider en uh, ik ben daar verantwoordelijk voor de mensen en de machines uh, in, in, in onze uh, drukkerij. Mijn naam is Bo Hag. Ik ben accountmanager bij Creative Colors. We zijn ruim 20 jaar specialist in print en zijn. Ja, wat, wat, wat we, waar we de laatste tijd een verschuiving in gezien hebben, is dat we steeds meer in die interieurbranche bezig zijn. En dat zijn zowel panelen op de Arizona, maar zeker de behangen en de vinylen zeg maar op de Colorado. Die zijn ja, echt gewoon super. Het grote voordeel is, hè, zeker bij vanil, je hoeft meer, niet meer te wachten tot je het kunt lamineren hè, als je het buiten wil gebruiken. En je kunt het eigenlijk printen en eigenlijk kan ik een uur later kan ik het al gaan plakken bij de klant. De Colorado 1630 uh, valt mij op dat die uh, heel uh, scherp print, uh, constant is in kleuren. Als wij uh, posters printen, dan is de eerste dezelfde kleur als de laatste. Voorheen deden we daar uh, ja, ruim een, een uur of vier, vijf over en nu uh, ja, heb je met uh, twee uur uh, de complete batch gedraaid. De 1630 past goed bij de filosofie van Creative Colors op het gebied van de kwaliteit. Bij ons bij Creative Colors staat kwaliteit hoog in het vaandel en de kwaliteit van de 1630 is heel hoog. Daarnaast past die goed bij de snelheid van ons bedrijf, het is een snelle machine. We kunnen snel schakelen en dat is wat wij binnen Creative Colors altijd nastreven. Wij hebben op de Colorado 1630 diverse applicaties geprint. Dat is van posters tot spandoeken. En we zijn nu ook begonnen met een uh, full print voor op auto's. We hebben de eerste bus volledig uh, gewrapt en die resultaten uh, die zijn uh, ook uh, tot nu toe uh, naar uh, tevredenheid. Ja, de oprichters zijn er blij mee met de Colorado. Uh, waarom? Omdat hij is, hij is heel stabiel. Dat betekent, uh, we kunnen een rol papier erin gooien en als ik 50 meter moet printen, dan hoef ik daar niet bij te blijven. We laten die het s'avonds lopen en uh, uh, ja, 99% zeker weten dat uh, morgen vroeg die rol uh, er gewoon volledig geprint uh, in, de, in, de, in de opvangbak uh, hangt, netjes opgerold. We kijken niet alleen naar de aanschafprijs bij het kiezen van een nieuwe machine, maar ook naar de kosten per vierkante meter. En bij de Colorado 1630 ja, zijn de kosten gewoon heel gunstig. De waarom wij hem hebben genomen is puur uh, innovatief is die. Uh, UV, je kunt uh, een modulair opbouwen. Dat is toch wel een, ja, een voornaam iets, dat je gewoon een basismodel kunt nemen en ieder moment dat je meer wil, dat je kunt zeggen van ik ga van glans sprinten, dat ik ook de mat variant erbij neem. Extra roloptie erbij en dat zijn uh, ja, toch wel de pluspunten van uh, deze machine. 
De sterkste troef van de, van de Corrado is, is de UV-gel inkt. De inkt is, is flexibel, dus we kunnen hem gebruiken voor heel veel verschillende toepassingen. Ik heb eigenlijk maar één printer nodig om een heel breed assortiment aan materialen te kunnen gebruiken. En het, het, het verschilt echt van, van, van magneetfolie tot uh, flexfilm die we op de uh, Colorado draaien om op t-shirts te persen. Uh, tot uh, tot uh, stickers uh, en, en, en nu zelfs tot uh, ja, 15 soorten, verschillende soorten behang hebben we. Ik denk zeker dat we met Colorado 36 klaar zijn voor de toekomst. Uh, je merkt dat het steeds kortere levertijden worden, um, steeds kleinere oplages, veel meer verschillende materialen en daar is deze machine gewoon perfect voor. Nou, ik zie de toekomst uh, uh, um, bijzonder rooskleurig. Uh, ik geloof erin dat, dat, dat steeds meer bedrijven, uh, met name hun sign- en interieuruitingen, steeds verder uit zullen bereiken. En dat zal ook overslaan naar de particuliere markt. Uh, daar waar wij ons nu nog niet mee bemoeien, maar ik geloof wel met, uh, met deze machines dat we, dat we een, een, een concurrent kunnen zijn van de, van de behangproducenten en, en gewoon behang op maat uh, kunnen leveren door de, door de Colorado 1630. Welcome back. Now I think you can understand why we're so excited about the Colorado 1630 and why you should be too and how it will empower you to expand your business horizons. In essence, by leveraging the groundbreaking UV gel technology that's at the core of every Colorado product that's out there in the market today. Now, the 1630 is truly a modular system that is priced and positioned for every print shop owner to own and enjoy. Now, before I conclude, I want to recap with everything that you've seen here today by answering some potential questions that you may have had during the session. Also, if you could, during this time, if you could please submit your questions via the chat box. And for my benefit, of course, please provide these in English. Uh, we'll try to answer these additional questions via the same chat box as well. So please stay on the line. Now, if we don't address your questions during this event, don't worry. We'll reach out and follow up with you after this session is over. So let me take a look at some potential questions that I had written down on my phone here. And the first question is, Does it use the same UV gel 460 inks that are found in the Colorado 1650 product? And that simple answer is yes. It uses the exact same formulation. It uses the same ink makeup and everything else. The only difference is, is a 700 milliliter bottle of ink versus the one liter bottle that's found in the 1650. So that means all the certifications, the AGGB, the Green Guard Gold certifications, the 3M, the Avery, the Type 2 certifications that we performed, and all the other certifications that we've met out there with the UV Gel 460 inks will apply to the Colorado 1630, okay? Also, what you can expect is the same exact print quality, okay? The only difference is the speed. The Colorado 1630 is 70 to 75 percent of the speed of the 1650, okay? Outside that, your print quality is going to be identically the same. You won't be able to tell the difference. Once again, it's using the exact same ink. It's using the exact same type of technology. All right. Next question here is, let's see, my phone went to sleep. Can you explain again the modularity of this product and how does that differ from the 1650? Okay. Well, if you're familiar with the 1650, it came with a matte gloss option. It came with a roll drawer with two positions available in it. It also came with a double-sided uh, printing feature. Not everybody needed or wanted all those features. So what we decided to do is take the 1630 and break those out as options. So the 1630 comes in two available flavors. It comes with the base model, which includes a gloss uh, reflective surface with the ink, as well as a single position in the roll drawer. Okay. You may ask, well, hey, John, what if later on I, wanted, I want all the, you know, I want the entire bundle? You can do that as well. So the Ultimate Series is that. The Ultimate, Ultimate 1630 includes um, a double-sided printing, the roll drawer position with two now, two rolls uh, available for it, and double-sided printing. So let's say you decide to get the base model, and six to eight months later, a year later, you decide, hey, I have this new application that just came in, and the customer wants that more matte look and feel. 
Or let's say you want to do double-sided banners, or you need more production capabilities and you want two roll drawer positions. You can do the same, and as simple as a license, and that's it. So there's no service modification that needs to happen out there in the field. There's no service call. You can just call up and you get a new license, and that license then will activate those features inside the unit itself. It's as simple as that. Okay, next question. Ah, okay. This kind of gets back to those print speeds that we were talking about earlier. Uh, you want to know what the print speeds are. Well, the print speeds, of course, are all based on applications. So the high-end range is what we call our banner and banner production mode. We have a mid-range level uh, that is called our production levels, which would be more like for doing uh, certain types of application, perforate, perforated window film, and so forth. Uh, but the sweet spot really is the high-quality mode, and I'll talk about all those here in a minute. So the banner mode, uh, we can print at uh, uh, 1,200 square feet per hour. That's a high-speed banner mode, and that is like the 1650. It's a true application mode. It doesn't look washed out, right? Uh, it looks e extremely good. Uh, and then the next mode down is 840 square feet per hour. So those are the applications for banner mode, any being distance anywhere between uh, 10 to 15 to 20 feet away. Now, our speed mode and production modes are 592 square feet per hour, almost 600 square feet per hour, and 420 square feet per hour, okay? And these would be great for doing applications like perforated window film, maybe some um, closer-up banners and so forth. But let's face it, everybody uh, and all your customers will want it done everything in high quality. In fact, 80% uh, of the production that's done on existing Colorado units are done in the high quality and quality modes. So those modes are 312 square feet per hour and 205 square feet per hour. And that's really the sweet spot when you look at almost all your applications that you're going to do. Now when you consider the uh, 312 square feet per hour up to the uh, 1200 square feet per hour, you're still talking a printer that is anywhere between two to three times faster than any other 64 inch product that's out there in the market, of course, with the exception of the Colorado 1650. So labor savings and getting more jobs out the door is gonna help you out with that as well. Now, let's see, the next question, let's see where we're at. I think that had to do with, all right, how do you see this product positioning against the Colorado 1650? Where, where would I decide to make a choice between a 1630 and a 1650? If, you're, if, you're, if your volumes right now are anywhere between uh, 2,000 square feet a month up to 8,000 square feet a month, the Colorado 1630 is the right product for that price point. And the reason for that is, as we talked about, it's got the 700 milliliter bottles, okay? So pricing-wise, when you talk about price per square foot, it's going to cost a little more. But, of course, the capital investment is going to be a lot less. Okay? So if you're doing 8,000 square feet on average and more, then you should look at a Colorado 1650. Now, you may say, well, you know, 8,000 square feet, I mean, is it really going to be robust enough to handle anything more than that? Absolutely. You're always going to have those peak volumes and peak periods where you're going to go, any, you could go anywhere to 8, 12, 15,000 square feet over doesn't matter. It's the same robust build as the Colorado 1650, okay? Same components, same hardware, same tooling, and everything else. So you're not going to wear out this printer uh, either, okay? So that's one thing. The quality is the same. The build's the same. The output's going to be the same. The only difference is, as we talked about, the container size, the options that you wish to purchase are broken out as well, and speed being 70 to 75 percent. Okay. So let's take the last question here, availability. Okay, availability. That's a good question. Now, um, we're coming up, uh, of course, we're at nearing the uh, end of May. We'll be receiving our first, first shipments in June. Uh, we'll be receiving initial inventory then. Uh, I would say by the end of June, we'll have uh, full capacity of inventory within our warehouse. So we'll have some early units that will be available uh, for sale uh, right now, as well as, uh, uh, you know, at the beginning of June. But we'll probably be able to fulfill everybody's orders when you look at it by mid-June to the end of June. So I hope that gives you an understanding. I mean, we've been preparing for this launch for quite some time. So we're not worried about that. Of course, we just uh, want to make sure that we can get all these shipments over here to the U.S. and get them into your hands. All right. 
Well, this concludes the session today. And if you want to find out more information about the Colorado 1630, uh, you can uh, take a look at our product page. You can also email us with the information that you're seeing uh, here on the screen. I want to thank everybody for attending today's session, and I want to make sure you have an excellent day. Have a good day, everybody.